Welcome to Prayer and Coffee. In Daniel 12, Daniel shut up the words and sealed the book until the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall increase. Go your way, Daniel, for the words are shut up and sealed until the end of the, of the time of the end. I believe we are at that time. We have the promise of an unsealing of the Word of God for now, for this generation. Isaiah 48, From this time forth I announce to you new things, hidden things that you have not known. Jeremiah 33, Thus says the Lord who made the earth, the Lord who formed it to establish it, Call to me and I will answer you, and tell you great and hidden things that you have not known. In 1 Corinthians 2, Paul writes, My speech and my preaching were not with persuasive words of human wisdom, but in demonstration of the Spirit and of power, that your faith should not be in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. Let me repeat that. That your faith should not be in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. Titus 2 we are instructed to turn from godless living and sinful pleasures. We should live in this evil word, world with wisdom, righteousness, and devotion to God. In the chaotic times in which we live, the darkness in our land increasing and the spirit of Antichrist rising, we need to hold fast to the word of God and hold fast to the confession of our hope without wavering. For he who promised is faithful. Let's pray. Lord, I can see your moving, your awakening, requiring us to put all our hope and trust in you and you in alone. Nothing else, you alone. Lord, if there's anything left of complaining or doubt or unbelief in me, remove it. Don't let me be a stumbling block to your fresh move in your church, your promised outpouring of Holy Spirit. I choose today to keep my eyes on you, Lord, to listen closely for your word and to pray God-sized prayers for this time, for this season. Lord, I declare to this, this to be a time of your divine presence. Fill your church with your presence. Raise up those you have been working on and open our eyes to see and our ears to hear what you are doing and what you need us to do. Lord, for your name's sake, let there be a demonstration of your power. Let there be a revealing of the power of our God. Our eyes are on you, Jesus, as we pray in your powerful name. Amen.